Let's go again. This card is so funny, although I'll never use it. It's not that good. It's just funny. Okay, three. Oh, right. Where's the damn card? I can't, I can't do it. Okay, I'm not, I don't have the voice for that. Okay. Not as cute. Not as cute. Definitely cute. Okay, this one. Okay, where my art is at. You're not here, by the way. I never, I never get any, I never get any comments. <laughs> okay, we got. I like how the Yuya deck is still technically a viable deck that I could play if I felt like it at an event and not have anything happen to me. Besides the point, time for two of the harder matches. Okay, now we can get around all the jokes I make because realistically, this deck is is not that bad. Nanisu Makuhiro though. That's fine. It's fine indeed. We'll be we'll get there. Okay. Sure. Antiku Gia Gorem. It's a good card. It's a very good card. It's a shame that it's not going to work out for you. Set one, activate pass. We don't need a win right away. We just need to make sure the opponent is unable to keep going. We gotta slow him down. But instead of winning on the first turn, gotta make it so that the opponent is doomed. Okay? Doomed. It's fine. Let him get the third one. That's exactly what we want. We set one more card in pass turn. Got it. We set another card and pass our turn. <sighs> we would lose so hard to Imperial Order. All barrier is too strong. What do we do? Pass. Like, where are the monsters? No, the monsters aren't gonna do anything, okay? If I summon a monster, just revive this, and then he'll probably have players. He has three cards in his hand that are unknown to me. And that's fine, okay? We don't need to summon monsters. We need to wait for him to mess up. Okay, our plan is not to go in all bum rushing gung ho craziness. No. We just need to think about it, okay? Just think about it. Let him make the mistake. Let him go first. And to continue my train of thought, Makuhira though, why are you not going first? I, I really don't care. Just make a play. Any play. No play. Got it. Okay? You wanna play for fun? We'll play for fun. But I'm playing for keeps. Yeah. Yeah, man. We just gotta play this one slowly. But surely. Awesome. Do I have Shokan? Perfect. This is what we were this is the kind of play we were waiting for. Now we've locked him out of anti gear ultimate golem, unless he has a fusion substitute ready. What is up? Badass summoning animation. Yo, that's cool. But why was that not in GX? Mm, this one here. Okay. Let's get back to work. Let's get to work. Good. We're almost at Final Flame, and I don't think I've ever attempted to do burn damage. I think it's just been naturally caused. Okay. Back to business. First, we'll begin with one of the stronger cards, and then we'll switch over to Parshas once we're ready. Because the problem with not using Chambara here, I mean, Makendama here. Makendama. No, it is Chambara. Chambara. Raida. Chambara Rider. Is that leaving it on the field for more revival can spell out some bad news, especially if he has a card like Dual Summon another monster because he still has the other antique gear golem in his hand. He's just not announcing it. That's gonna go on top. Battle. Heck. Because look, he's gonna revive it. 
by paying 1k. But then, in this moment, we do it again. And he can't revive it this time. Goodbye. I'll set two more in pass. Okay, Makufira, though, he's up. Will he be able to stop this play? I doubt it. We have slowed him down too much for him to make any meaningful progression towards us. Never mind! Okay! Soul charge for one, dual summon into- I'm taking your column! No! What a prick. <sighs> of course. Because we can never have nice things, right, ladies and gentlemen? We cannot have nice things. Hmm. That's fine. He summoned it again! Whatever. All it does is burn him. I don't care. Watch this. First, we use that. Second, we flip you. Four, uh, third, we use this. To half the points, right? And then we shuffle that back into the deck. Make it 15. Yeah, okay. We use you to target him. Then we use these two to make Kasteru. With Kasteru, we shovel that back into deck, meaning it can't revive itself. And we have enough attack points to kill him right here. Good. Because that's the kind of mentality I want to go into this with. I'm going into this with the mentality of... We are not going to give him a chance, okay? We need to nip him and leave him down, okay? And then nip him. One, two, Koros, good. Whoa, baby! No, he took no damage, shit. Okay, it's fine actually, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Not ideal, but at the same time, it's not detrimental. Okay? Okay. We don't know what that is, but we don't care. Couldn't use it. Kiting good. Shoot. Okay, a good card, apparently. Good cards are good. Plush fire into revive summon another guy. Yep. Plush fire is banned for a reason. It's so good, especially in Pepe decks. Which thankfully have been banned. Goodbye, Makufirado. Never mind. Stop living! <laughs> ah I know you're a traitor, damn it. Just throw yourself off the boat already. He has another one anyways, okay. Akufirado is not making this good for me. He wants me to suffer. You know what? We won't give him the chance. We'll just kill him. Even if he has negate attacks for direct, even if he has floating, revival, whatever, he can't stop the good piercing! Kansudamejiyo! Atayere! Good. Ah. <sighs> That was fun. You know? That was very, very fun. Hmm. Such a strong card. This game does have Duelist score, by the way. I don't know what it does, but it has it. Alright, time for the second fight. Energy Dorain. Fine. That's fine. Okay, let's go again against Kurosaki Shun. I don't know if that's good or bad or not, but you know, it'll all be worth it for the grand ideal of victory. Sure. Okay. You wanna play? Let's play. Debate! Here. 
then of course we set four because we just need to have all the preparation right we got to be prepared for anything every contingency that is by the way not possible to prepare for every contingency but you get the point nonsense this deck is prepared for all the contingencies so I would like to say, but realistically, we have nothing against OTK that avoids destruction. We have nothing against control. We have absolutely nothing against burn. <laughs> this deck is so flawed. The fact that we're in arc 5 is astonishing to me. Okay. I summon Breaker, apparently. Aw, oh, these two in opening hand going second is moi. Is the best. Okay, that's uh, a good old early, well, late... 05, early 06 opening hand right there. Just all the power creep. Such a strong combo, these two. Pass! Oh. Oh, Kogan. Okay. Got it. Keep going. We don't need another monster, we have plenty of back row. The back row is designed to protect our monsters while we hit them with the big guys. Okay, my enforcer's here. Okay, satisfy me. Mansukushiro. Awesome. Average defense stats so far, 100, 105. I actually have faith in this plan. Okay, what I'm going to do is hit him with the tricky and hope it's not a 77 guy. Alright, let's go. Good. And this is 37 for game. You've got to be kidding me, Kudasaki Shun. I was hyping you up! 